All right, this is an update on the shop build. Uh, hi, Hitler. That's Hitler. He says hello. He doesn't like that we're uh, messing up a lot of his stuff here. I haven't really been doing a lot of filming. Because uh, digging is just really monotonous. Lots of trips back and forth. Uh, got the hole mostly dug out here. The uh, deck came off actually right before the first video where I was uh, cutting on the trees. Um, it's basically leveled all the way to the other end. It's 104 feet is what the shop will be by 60. Uh, this is over excavated. Uh, it's probably about an extra 10 feet that way, an extra four or five feet north and then south we're looking north right now okay uh my screen's going dark here so i can't tell uh hold on that's the screen show me where i'm showing all right um you can see got tracks here from hauling dirt all the way down to the woods i've got probably 200 yards into the woods with a with an elevated road down there because uh, it's just it's a bowl it's a lot of uh it's muddy all the time so it's nice to have an elevated path that's going to be dry um, this tarp here is covering up a whole bunch of this pink styrofoam uh, my well line runs right under here and i didn't want it to freeze up after i took out all of the dirt uh, it really didn't get much lower right here, maybe a foot or two, so it'll probably be okay, but I just wanted to cover my butt. I hate to have my well freeze up. On the side of the house here, there used to be a uh, chimney. They had a wood burner down there for the furnace when they first built it. I took that out. And I just stuck these glass blocks in for now. Um, there's going to be a pole that goes here. I also rerouted this rain gutter so this hole doesn't fill up with water. Uh, there's the old chimney hole up there too. That'll all come out sooner or later. I mean, the, the gutter certainly will because there will be a pole going there. I don't know when the chimney will. It'll be next time I do the roof. Um, all of this is level to within. Oh, I think about eight inches, plus or minus, from the center. I've done most of that by eye. I did bring a laser level out and do a little marking, but as for the actual leveling, it's just done from, by eye from inside the machines. Uh, the skid steer is real good for grading that. As we get up here, this will be the northwest corner. You can see now about how much deeper this is. Let me set you on the ground here. So, I don't know if that comes through very well in the video. This is probably about 40 inches lower uh, than the main ground. The, uh, I stacked a lot of my dirt over here on the side while I was digging, because I wanted to get the hole all dug out and it was just taking forever there were some days with rain in the forecast and i really wanted to get the base level so, and hopefully it wouldn't fill up with water before i uh, got it all done so i moved dirt over here to make it easier only about half that pile is left now the other half got hauled down to the woods this pile over here is all of the topsoil. Don't know where I'm gonna put it, but I didn't wanna dump it out into the woods on the road yet because I will need it most likely to backfill around the shop. Here's a look back at the house now from this corner. So yeah, it's uh, quite a bit of digging. I took out one of those two elm trees down there too. Uh, turned out it was going to be in the way of the shop. And then I got the stump 
for the oak tree down here. Uh, this thing was just a beast. Uh, the backhoe could not lift the trunk, which is uh, the backhoe can lift 7,000 pounds, and it could not pick up either end of this thing, uh, which kind of surprised me. I would think it would have been able to, well, I guess it could lift the little end just a little bit. Uh, not a lot, though, but I had to drag it all the way down here. Uh, I chipped at this uh, trunk for about two hours with the little hoe on the back just to just to cut it down. I'll give you an idea how big this thing there is. Um, I'm 5'11", six feet in my boots. So that's uh, one beast of a trunk. I had it chained in on the front of the hoe, uh, I believe on that, yeah, the small end, and backing up, it was just doing a, a front end wheelie and flipping up, so I had to actually extend the rear bucket out as far as it would go as a counterweight to be able to uh, pull this out. And this pile back in the corner, uh, that's a lot of the smaller pieces of wood long ones that I'll be using. This culvert was just laying in the woods. I It's been out there ever since I moved in, so what, 13, 14 years now. Just got tired of looking at it next to my driveway every day. So I was able to get that out probably about two weeks ago or so. That thing also weighs around or a little more than 7,000 pounds. Could barely lift that with the bucket. So that's what's been going on here. Um, the building permit is of course in place. You don't do all this without that. So the county knows what's going on. They've approved, they're good with all the setbacks and everything. Uh, this county, it's, uh, what is it? What was it? It was 50 feet from the front and the back and 25 feet from the sides. Uh, the road, that goes by here is to the east side. So I needed 50 feet on that side, which obviously the house is there, so that's okay. And then I needed 50 feet from the fence line here. And that flag lands at like 55 to 60 feet. So that's just about right. I couldn't go much bigger. Can't think of anything else to add at this point in time, uh, working on figuring out how much rock I got to put in here. The soil is pretty soft. Uh, it doesn't seem to be expansive is the initial thing. Finally found a soil guy that would talk to me and actually kind of figure that out. So it's probably gonna be 12 to 18 inches of rock is gonna go in this hole. And then the cement slab will be six or seven, maybe eight inches thick to handle all the equipment. And the sun porch comes down next. The south side of the house will just be straight up exposed instead of in a porch. Uh, it really ruins the view looking out and that's the way I wanna look from inside the living room. So that porch is going away.